All right, it is uh, finally here, what I've been waiting for, for, well, me and every single other Total War Warhammer fan, uh, has been waiting for, for six years, I think they said now? Something like that. It's been a long ass time. Bring me to my men. All right, so we're going to be uh, playing our immortal, first Immortal Empires campaign with the Wars of Chaos, specifically... Uh, Sigvald, or Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. Oh, I kind of like the uh, little intro uh, cinematic. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that we had this. God of Mountains. And I don't think these are anything that have previously been hold on now I gotta I gotta check something real quick let's go to the two tomb kings oh no no never mind now that I've gone to the tomb kings I do remember this cinematic I think for Cetra and I do remember this for him so maybe they just maybe it's been here I just haven't played Sigvald in forever all right well let's get started here uh, so Sigvald is, if I've read this correctly, he'll have access to um, all the different types of chaos. It's just that he leans towards Slanesh. So, um, unit in, oh, I don't remember this unit in Spell Browser. Now, if I look at, like, one of the dedicated lords. Okay, so this kind of shows the same. But I thought that, like, Festus, Falkia, that sort of thing were all more limited. I don't know, we'll find out. So, let's get started. Might be that the unit in Spell Browser only shows what's available in, um, in the battle screen that you can normally get access to. Maybe. Oh. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, Omar says, thought you were going to say me, myself, and I. I mean, maybe. <laughs> what can I say? We've been waiting for it for a long time. This is the culmination of three games worth of uh, content and all that. Only even more fun thing is this isn't even like the end, you know. Now, like, this is it's and then nothing else. Because I'm pretty sure they've... It seems like they've done a decent job at trying to repair the reputation of Warhammer and all that, so... Um, about the Realm of Chaos, the borderlands of the mortal world form a ring of shadow that surrounds the ultimate darkness within. Contrary to the arcane creatures and powerful beings that lurk across this nightmarish landscape, the northern extremes are undoubtedly parts of the material world, but inevitably tainted by their close proximity to the realm of chaos. Should one travel into the wastes, they would find themselves laboring beneath a storm-shaken sky, continuing at their mortal peril. Words alone are incapable of describing what lies beyond Oblivion's Veil. Um, Omar says, of course, it's not the end. There's money to be made. Yes. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you look at uh, Total War Three Kingdoms, that, like, they, there were still plans for that. And then they just cut that off, so... Um, at the initial release of Warhammer 3, there were certainly people um, concerned that Warhammer 3 could go that way. Because it, it was a very bad start. You may have heard of me. I am Sigvald the Magnificent, the girl prince of Slanesh. One thing with Sigvald that always <laughs> makes me wonder, the whole, his title, Geld Prince, like, is it a gelding when referring to animal husbandry? I think specifically horses. Doesn't that refer to a horse that's been, you know, um, had its balls cut off? <laughs> so like, did that happen to Sigvald? Is that why he's called Geld Prince? I've never exactly 
I don't know if I've ever seen a, a specific uh, reference to describe why he's referred to that, but... Alright, so, we got our little uh, group of Dark Elves that have somehow come upon this area. Where are we at, anyways? So, we are starting... So, this is the General Norska region, so we're actually kind of into the realm of, of the Dark Elves here. Okay. So, yeah, we go this way, and then Malekith, I think, is somewhere around here. Um, it is neat that even all the way zoomed out, like, you know, there's this edge, and then scroll the map, scroll the map, scroll the map, scroll the map. And there we go. This is a huge-ass map. All right. Uh, so let's take a look around here. We have the Palace of Princes, which, which is a uh, subtle torture Slanesh faction. And Fortress of the Damned with these High Elves. What's with this little, like, there's this little thing highlighting it. Is that just, uh... I don't have a quest there, do I? I don't think I do. Maybe it's just highlight enemy factions? Maybe. Alright, so, um... Uh, Chaos yeah, Sorcerer of Shadows. So he is just a regular Chaos Sorcerer right now, it looks like. I think? Path to Glory. So there's the uh, Chaos Sorcerer of Slanesh, Chaos Sorcerer of Slanesh Shadows, Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch with the Lord of Zinch. Okay. So yeah, he can go multiple paths. Alright, we're gonna fight this one. Uh, we do have the option of seducing units. Any of these units that we'd want to? Well, we can seduce these ones. And it does look like I have to spend favor to just seduce these units. Um, I think I've known that, but this is the first time I've actually jumped in. Uh, let's see. Omar said, well, maybe that's why they grow their hair out like a girl. Maybe they're trans. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you never know with Slanesh. You know, Slanesh, they kind of go both ways. But, yeah, we're going to seduce these Black Art Corsairs into our army. Get us some... Uh, Ranged units. Oh god. I look at the, uh, the closed captioning and it said the Flemish go both ways. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who is Flemish in this stream who <laughs> may have seen that. <laughs> All right, let's get started here, and I think we're just gonna go right on to them. Now, one thing that's notable here. Oh, maybe I. Oh, these are well. Ambos. Maybe it's only for the bl regular Black Art Corsairs have Vanguard equipment. But I thought. Back and ready. I could have sworn that regular Black Art Corsairs had it. And then the Corsairs with Hambos, well, obviously also had it, but I don't know. It's something we'll have to test later on. For other units that I know definitely have Vanguard deployment. If uh, seduced units will get that or not. Gods. Anyways, uh, let's see. We got this here. We'll get our what? front line. Actually, we'll put the Marauders at the front front. Your will? Sacrifice themselves for Slanesh. Oh, and actually, more than anything, it should be the seduced units at the front front. Chaos comes! Sigval, my god's call! Hell scourge! Now, these guys do have Strider, which should make them more useful going through the trees here. Do not Let's start. Fail me. Move forward. Hell scourge. Fighting 
I do really like the look on this Chaos Sorcerer right here. Our little purple legion. Another reason I, I chose uh, Sigvald is for the purple. Also, Omar, if uh, thought I mes mentioned it somewhere on general chat, but uh, I am going to have a multiplayer stream on Thursday, so not entirely sure what time it'll be. Probably sometime after 5 p.m. Central. At your command. Fear our speed. Nothing more gear than a purple army, exactly. Uh, no, it won't be with Pickle, because Pickle's schedule is all messed up. It'll be with uh, my friend Justin, who I streamed... Actually, I'm not sure if I've streamed Warhammer with him. I know I've streamed... I think I streamed Divinity Original Sin 2 with him back in the day. Those Corsairs over here. Try to break them. Think I only did Divinity with them? Okay. Yeah, I know I was played multiplayer with him in Warhammer before um, a couple times, but it may have never been on stream. So. My dark prince calls. himself should be take the Lord on here. If we can find them in this madness. Alright, let's move the mosh pit away from over there. So Sigvald can do the thing. Oh, and victory. Gives an opportunity here to hunt down these other units as they flee. One thing I... Okay. Um, it seems like some of the units that should be hunting down, like Fleers, aren't necessarily as good as they used to be. But then again, I haven't, you know, used a lot of the old units that I used to, so. Because I, I know with, like, Kislev, they have Snow Leopard units. Um, and initially, uh, based on, you know, the unit card, I thought those were more of, like, you know, dog units. But it's actually more of a large, I want to say it's a large-sized unit. Um, Anti-large and it's a single unit entity rather than like multiple. All right, so we got souls. We can enslave captives or kill them. Um, I mean, souls are always useful. And I think we'll be able to replenish over time here. We'll sacrifice them. Wiped out the whole army. 
Oh. So Sigvald also has seductive influence. So let's see, a faction seductive influence increases when contact is made with a Slaneshi faction via diplomacy or battle. Or via cults, the gift of Slanesh and high Slanesh corruption. Factions with high seductive influence are more manipulative. Are manipulatable, not manipulative. Um, and can eventually be forced into vassalage. Only human, elven, and beastman factions are vulnerable to seductive influence. Okay. I am Slanesh's sire. The Dark Prince wishes. Alright, we'll give ourselves one turn to heal up. Now, are we still like. Are we still a little bit. Let's see. Oh, so we do need to move in range for that. Okay. Oof, our corn authority is a big hit. <laughs> so recruiting corn units is going to be very expensive if we want to try and upkeep those. Well, let's get some marauders, and let's get some warhounds in. Uh, that is kind of neat that we can do like immediate um, recruitment here. Corn units? <laughs> no, it's K H O R N E. <laughs> okay, and it looks like we can do automatic uh, upgrades for these guys. 184, 213. So they do become a little bit more expensive even though we have that reduction. Uh, let's see. So becoming Chaos Warriors of Slanesh, we get some physical resist. That's good. Pickle says, I give you my gym membership. Omar says, to me or to newbie? Because you know we both need it. Oof. <laughs> Or let's see. Here's the Hell Scourges. They're weak against armor. But they have. They have charge reflection. Okay, one. One complaint I have um, that I'm noticing here. Kanubi, nothing showed up, huh? But I resubscribed. Oh, you do have your little thing. Oh, uh, what the hell? Streamlabs, I did. Streamlabs, why you know work? Let's see. I'm in for. Yeah, this is under Twitch. Cloudbots is on, right? I see Streamlabs in here. Well, I will use the default one, even though it won't say pickle. <laughs> Why, just look at me. I'm in prime condition. I am full of joy. Be quiet or I will have your soul for scrap. Oh dear me. I believe I've upset him. This is a test. Although, unfortunately, if you said something there. Pickle. <laughs> you only got this as a test. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to do... Uh, also, because of our bets. Replay event button. There is? Oh, where the hell did we find this at now? Oh, recent events. Oh, the bet because if Elvis is a twink or not. Technically gay. Twink is a whole nother matter. So yeah, for whatever reason, it's just not showing up here at all. Even though it shows up in uh, 
You have the little founder tag, 22 months subscriber. Wow, 22 months. That is a lot. Thank you, Pickle. But yeah, Streamlabs is just being difficult right now. Alright, anyways, let's go through this. We got Route Marcher. <gasps> Vigor loss reduction for the army. That is always nice. What is a twink? What is twink but maybe tell me in Discord so you don't get smited off this platform. It's really nothing. It's nothing bad. It's just a it's a gay guy who is, you know, generally young, um, skinny, that sort of thing. I am Slamish's sire. Vic says, holy shit, 22 months, that's like at least ten, more than 10 days. <laughs> well, let's do scouting and get ourselves some magical items here. Alright, so... Oh, we got our research too. Blessings of Nurgle, Blessings of Corn, Blessings of Zinch, and then Blessings of Slanesh. So we got a couple of them already going here. Oh, that one hurt our corn authority. And we have like Okay, so it looks like they're like as you go through you have like the competing ones. Uh Omar says and young skinny two things newbie isn't. Oh it's true, but still. Oh. Let's see. Slanesh authority plus one for each active gift of Slanesh. Ooh. Slanesh Corruption, Summons of Slanesh, Gifted Units Pool Capacity plus two, or Demonets and Seeker Chariots, or Herald of Sacrifice. Well, let's do the Summons of Slanesh, get the Gifted Units, and then we can go for the other stuff. Witness my beauty. Alright, uh, let's end the turn. That's really about all we can do. I didn't upgrade any of my units, at least not yet anyways. Oh, and we'll set this to just do fast forward here. Hopefully I don't get screwed over. Uh, in memory of a good dear friend of ours, Paul. Oh, thank you, Pickle. I need to... Your kind of the will of the dark gods made manifest, mighty lord. Harness the gifts afforded to you by the ruinous powers, and you shall be unstoppable. I need to figure out a way to keep track of, like, Lord requests in a better way. Maybe something on screen? Let's see. Um, unit requests. Make Paul into a beast one-shots anything. Uh, I am in that, let's see, I'll refresh it. But yeah, it's still not showing up for whatever reason. Alright, so unit requests there. Uh, let's see. Unit requests. River, rats, lord. All right, now we got to make this more suitable for one. Oh dear. Oh, I forgot. Don't do a shift. So one one little bit of trivia for Streamlabs. Don't do a shift and then change on a lot of the elements. All you have to do is just regular change and it'll keep the size. Properties, let's do an outline here. Uh, Pick said, sorry, I am just waking up. My speech is fucked right now. Oof. Streamlabs hates the pickle. <laughs> the pickle hates Streamlabs. Fuck them fucks. <laughs> All right. So we got a unique request for uh, River Rat and Pickle for the resub if you want a unit as well. Um, you can request one now without points or anything. Preferably a hero, 
because that'll be easier to recruit if you want it, like, right away, but... Alright, let's Destroy. do our little attack here. Great victory. Uh, let's fight it. Oh! Power of seduction. Give me your archers. Foreskin consumer? <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to be probably, well, let's see, the heroes for Slanesh are casters, I think. So that'll probably be, so I'll just rename the one uh, Sorcerer Lord I have already. That'll work. All right, so uh, this looks like the general, actually, I was going to say this is the general chaos settlement, but not exactly that. Well, no, I guess it is. It has a little chaos stuff up there. Hey, hey, a name is very powerful, okay? <laughs> the Eternal Hunters! Alright, uh, let's see, we'll set these guys up to attack from the front. And Marauders, and these guys. All will be despoiled! For the chaos These guys in the back will head for the gate. Alright, let's get started here. I could go for, like, spread our units out, but I think this will work. Rookie Ford. The Dark Gods command me at once. Blood for Cain. Finch's will. Oof, these poor dark shards. Chaos Marauders! Alright, Marauders will take the sides here. So be it! Raid the walls! Chaos reigns! Such unholy resilience! The gods will! Tremble, mortals! End them! Deliver slaughter! All right, move for the gates. The Chaos sorcerer. Abomination awakes. <laughs> the coffee saying gives you blessing, coffee consumer. <laughs> yeah. Well, we will need it in this little battle here. Through the gates, attack. Enemy spells. Enemy magic. And we'll use our magic against these dread spears. They're the biggest threat to all my uh, my large units that are coming through the gate there. Scream. 
Rips. You guys actually, let's see, at this point here, which would be good to take, so let's go over here and grab it. Let's disengage. There's something attacking one of, or affecting one of these units called the sophomore musts. I'm not sure what unit that was coming from though. Doesn't look like it was from the Slanesh unit. Oh wait, maybe it was. Yeah, it was actually from the Slanesh. Uh the spawn of Slanesh here. Mortal fool! Slay every mortal! Come on. Almost got it. Almost got it. There we go. On the hunt. Yes. Imbibe then in proper Slaneshi faction will take their key building from behind. Chaos comes. Ooh, my poor spawner. Looking a little rough there. Let's bring them out. Some bleak swords approaching my one group of units. Uh, Pick says, "Ah, yes, Slanesh, always coming from behind." Yes. <laughs> so be it. Soul riders, guided by hunger. Your will. We want their eyes. Hell's Gout. Actually, theoretically, I should go with the Warhounds up front and then flank with the uh, Hell Striders here. We will hunt. Seeking Slanesh's embrace. Come on, take it, take it, take it. There he goes, haha. Uh, Pickles says, can't warm him with three, just be up the a little faster. I want to play some before I work. <laughs> says play newbie stream at 160p. I mean that is an option. Alright. Uh it's going to tempt me with trying to sack this place for a lot of money, but I may just take it. Pickle says I'm playing it at 32p. <laughs> 32 or 320? <laughs> Just a couple pixels, my guy. Oh, 32? 
They should give that option. Just make it a couple pixels. All right. Oh, that's really not much to sack for. Only a thousand, so. Occupy and vassalize. Occupy the settlement and vassalize its associated Norskin tribe. Our knees do not bend. Who are these grotesque? And the associated Norskin tribe is this group of guys over here. Well, neat. Is all. Unfortunately, these guys don't have a major settlement, so I can't just, like, get um, an outpost with them. But I don't necessarily need it, at least not at the moment, Chaos. anyways. Alright, Sigvald. Um, increased experience gain when fighting against forces of order. Dark Seducer. Okay, so nothing necessarily super notable here. I like the extra movement range you can get for that, but I think we will do make him a powerful attacker. Alright, we can spread cast undivided corruption. Or go for the magic. Let's go for the magic. Also, excellent. Rename this guy to Foreskin Consumer. All right, one redemption down. Uh, let's see, Omar said newbie didn't play Minecraft. So the pixel turns newbie into 32 bit. <laughs> and pixels don't even talk about Minecraft news updates such BS. Uh, you can now report people in game if they say anything offensive in chat. It's stupid. I heard about them doing that. Ready. All right, we got favor and we got growth. Well, growth is always the thing to go for. Are you a god? I will say I like that there is the mixture of uh, of different kinds of units that you can or uh. Not different kinds of units. Different mechanics as far as um, the chaos forces being able to settle settlements now, but also still having that uh, horde faction. At least as far as, you know, being able to recruit on the fly. Omar says, bruh, well, I can't call the villagers Jews for their horrible offers. Oh, jeez, Omar. <laughs> Quick says, so what if I said Osama was an inspiration for my tower build? That doesn't work in Minecraft unless you use uh, either a mod so that things fall if you break them or if it's a uh, tower made of sand or something. Oh, this is neat. So to become chosen, uh, the unit must become rank 7. That is kind of neat. I like that they have this. I mean, people have talked about this kind of uh, setup for them for a while of having to just uh, go through like an ascension from like marauders to warriors to chosen and all that. But the fact that they actually finally did it is it is neat. Alright, I might mix the couple here. I'll do a couple of Hell Scourges and then a couple of Warriors. Embrace the power of Slanesh. Uh, should I go for the Marauders of Slanesh? Keep them as just basic Marauders. I think I'll keep them as basic Marauders. And then as they, uh,. Once they get to the next level in Undivided, give them the opportunity to uh, choose where they go. And Gifts of Chaos. So this is as I thought. Sigvald does have access to all the different gifts here. Um, we have these two gifts available. Now to unlock these, can unlock via the technology tree. Okay. So we have Prophet of Pleasure. Its control uh, has a soul's upkeep. 
We generate like basic souls, battles, and looting, sacking, and events. Okay. So each of these do have an upkeep to them. Huh, interesting. Uh, Omar said, used to play a game called Simple Plane. You build planes and test them out. Someone made Twin Towers and a place with Bush's face as the main body for the plane. Pick says, no, JK, my latest project is us, which I should show you guys the world one day. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor villagers. Well, hey, so long as you keep it to villagers. Shatter. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is awesome. Get the Shatterstone ability, which is uh, a powerful explosion. Affects city walls and siege equipment. So pretty much it tears down walls. Um, yes, please. Yeah, we're going to do that one. That is a great gift to have. A worthy choice. Oh, and we just go to that to uh, do our war coronation. Oh, and we can actually set up a outpost over there. Well, I'm not going to do it now. They are being managed correctly, if I do say so myself. Horrible, Pickle. Horrible. Poor villagers. But yes, as a Stellaris player, you know, wiping people out, it's not a, it's not a big stretch for me. Oh, I still have got it. We'll say this is kind of neat. Oh. So I, I saw a brief little thing about it, but I didn't read all through it all. So it looks like depending on what region you're in, you'll get different uh, chances to recruit people into your warband. I wonder if this is a setup for potential um, Dogs of War stuff. Being able to recruit like new um, like mercenaries and all that based on where you are. You like how the unit request is right in the middle of the screen? Put it over here. Although, well, it was over in that section and then I removed the one long name and then, yeah. You dare. All right, so. Let's, uh, Moving farther. A beautiful decision. Head on out. Never stop. There's still this gift, but I don't know if I necessarily need this. Wait, units will be instantly gifted, added to your gifted units pool, and every three turns afterwards. Ooh. An army ability summoned from beyond. There are so many different things here. Fool. I'll hold off on any other gifts. Gifts for the time being. You using the screen as a notepad? Well, I can't keep track of it very well otherwise, unfortunately, so yes. But it's also to kind of limit. Um, I'll put. Let's see. Do do do. Unit request limit three. Can I make it smaller? Oh wait, nope. Undo. Pay Omar to do it. <laughs> I'll do that. Hopefully that's not as as bad of a thing there. What are my little army doing here? You're still building. Uh, I don't think I have enough... Yeah, I don't have enough legions to do anything with them. I do like that little camps for Sigvald have the uh, Slaneshi hue to them as well. That pinkish purple.
Omar says, yeah, every five minutes I yell in chat about requests. <laughs> I mean, it is one way to work, I guess. Shall we do oh, let's, let's move towards Shagroth here. The gods direct me. And then I may actually do some channeling. Um. My adoring hordes agree. I don't think we, because we're not a demon faction, I don't think we specifically take any negatives from being at low winds of magic. All right, we got Scrutiny of the Dark Gods. Unit experience gain plus 25. Um, and upgrades gift Raiders Raymonds. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting, interesting. Excellent. So where's the big horn man himself? Big Horn Man. Scarbrand? Witness my beauty. Oh, I forget that this only takes a very small penalty Moving. for movement for the channel. Um, where is Scarbrand? I think he's down here somewhere, out in um, the Southlands. Or like around Araby, if I'm remembering correctly. What the fuck is he doing all the way down there? Um, he decided to go for an adventure? Oh. I don't know why he went down there. <laughs> Looks like we're in range to attack, so let's go and do it. We'll try out this little dark elf. Oh, final exit. Did I even try? I will do it just to see what the dark elf small settlement looks like. That's such a change from Warhammer 2. Did he start way up north? Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean from Warhammer 2? Because he wasn't in Warhammer 2. It's a change from the Realms of Chaos campaign. Or are you thinking of someone else? All right, let's start our deployment here. One thing I'll say, I just noticed this. I don't really like the way the Winds of Magic thing looks because that looks like you have so much more magic than you actually do. It says, I think I'm thinking of someone else. I think so. <laughs> Born to suffer. The Eternal Hunters. I am divine. All right. Let's see how this goes. Faster! Hell scourge! For Slanesh himself! To the next victory! Chaos Chariot! Warriors of Slanesh! Bring us souls. Let's see how this strategy works. Theoretically, it may actually work well. We get our dogs to come over here, and then get them to attack those, and then flank them with the Hell Striders. A simple, cheap tactic that actually might not work really well. Submit. 
finding fresh souls. And then they go try to go after those guys, and the dogs get them from behind. Oh, this is actually... I'm kind of liking this strategy. Pick says, no, me poor Dark Elves. For you, Pickle, I'll try to see if I can use my seduction stuff to uh, corrupt um, Malekith into joining us. I make no promises that it'll happen, but we'll try. Pick says, but when I was in Canal with Arcan. Okay. Um, I think Arcan starts around the same location. Where he does normally, so up north. Without question. Your will. Thought I wanted to play as him. Um, not for this campaign, no. I wanted to go back to Sigvald because Sigvald was the first one that I ever played. Or at least the first, uh, like, Chaos faction that I played. The pact requires it. Drinking pain. Tremble, mortals. Regular Marauders, let's have you guys start to take some points around here. Very well. Mortal fool. Yes. Chaos comes. Oh, army losses. Pickle, have you decided who you want to uh, play first? Is it going to be your Malekith there? Alright, so we got Sac, we got Occupy, Raise, and we can Gift to Vassal. Well, Gift to Vassal isn't too bad. Probably stick with corn, still learning him. Okay. These grotesqueries. Oh, and we can do automatic uh, recruitment from Marauders of Slash. This unit is le most likely to be found in provinces with high Slanesh corruption. Okay. What? Now, the Slanesh corruption reduces that. That's good for that. Just the same for me. Maybe? No. I am Slanesh's side. Alright, what do we do for Sigvald here? Hard to hit? Uh, let's probably do Deadly Blade, I think. We want Sigvald to be able to take down units, like, immediately. All right, uh, we have one hell cannon available. I think we should probably go for that. It's, it's expensive as all hell, 
but it'll be useful. And good news, we can now use our little uh, commandment here. Portent of Doom. They've come to the wrong place. Reduce movement range. Um, exploit vassals. Local warband recruitment. Plus 20% replenishment chance for undivided marauders. Ooh. Or get some corruption going. Um. I mean, it's corruption for adjacent provinces, which is nice. Bring ruin. But we need to increase our size of our warband, so let's do exploit vassals. Rival power comes to Pali, demanding a change in your mutual relations. Uh, Consider their offer carefully. I want that other dark fortress there. All right, testing their bonds. Uh, Agol are vassals, but they are becoming unruly and challenging your rule. Show them the error of their ways. We can divert their energy. Construction cost plus ten percent for all buildings faction wide. Melee attack plus five. Or we can wound their uh, one hero or lord or whatever. Gets, But he gets some uh, experience. And we also get le allegiance for them. That's actually kind of neat. The leader must be punished in their acts of treachery. Held up his examples to others. Uh, Omar says, newbie, you ever did Threader? I'm confused. Threader? No. I will oh, theater. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I did not. Uh, I. I really was way too introverted at the time to do it. Um, if I was the way I am now, I probably would have, and I probably would have enjoyed it, but yeah. Unfortunately, no, I did not. Oh! <laughs> Pickle, I just thought of something horrible, but awesome. The penendro penumbral pendulum spell is perfect for your foreskin consumer guy. Because, you know, snip, snip. Handsome and lethal. Onward to destruction. Never. Are you a god? We got some more dogs, some more hounds. Uh, I really want marauders, though, so we'll hold off. Omar says, there's a YouTube channel called Chicago Reacts, and it's, uh, Punch... A bunch of people who do or did acting related stuff. Oh, who did acting, reacting to stuff. Interesting. No, I, uh... Well, okay, technically I did acting for, like, one little thing. I was in our, like, gifted program at... In, like, junior high. We had some play there. But I don't even remember exactly what I did for that. Well, this is simply marvelous. More playthings to talk to. Tell me your desires. I think that's an entirely new set of dialogue there. I don't remember that ever being. <gasps> we get trade! Trade as chaos! Well, we got some chaos trolls we can bring up. For chaos. 
Never stop. Pickle says apparently I'm good at improv. Interesting. Always worth something to check out, because you know, acting is a uh, it could be a fun little thing. You know, Mar says trade, my favorite thing. <laughs> now uh, considering my options here. Northman come. Pick says my friends told me when this Old time, I didn't even know I was doing improv. Witness my beauty. Well, sometimes you don't realize it until you're just going through some of the stuff related to it. One thing I'll say that I'd kind of like to see is I would kind of like to see eventually them expand upon like chaos trolls, give them um, ranked versions, dominance, maybe even or uh, not ranked, but. Um, Marked versions. So like marked versions of Chaos Trolls, maybe marked versions of Chaos Giants. Could be a fun little thing. Is it haha -ha funny or what is it? Still don't know what improv is fully. So improv is pretty much, um... It's often more like kind of situational comedy where you kind of come up with it off the uh, top of top of your head like sometimes if I remember correctly people like give you something to work off of and then you go from there I'm thinking of what my best options are we might just let Sporticus here attack and then maybe go for the next Right now, we don't really have the forces to make a full attack on the frozen city there. So I could go there and just raid. That could probably work. Uh, we'll let the orcs attack. Well, introduce yourself. Uh, the orcs want a non-aggression pact. Decline. All right, unbridled ferocity or overpowering force. Morally vassals have risen to question your might. Should you put on a demonstration of strength or challenge them directly? Control or tribute vassals. Uh, let's do control. Mass executions. Oh, okay. So I was wondering, like, is this just to be able to... Actually, I'm still not entirely sure how this works. Well, let's find out. Um, oh, Exalted Heroes, though. I think we may want to do for that. All our different Chaos Sorcerers, though. Let's go for the Exalted Heroes, because we don't have any of those yet. Ready. And then maybe just to provide a, a unit for Paul, we'll start him as an Exalted Hero. And then when we have the upkeep for it, get him up to a Lord. And then we can use that hero for someone else. That might work. Let's see. More band recruitment. We got some of these guys. We got some marauders. That'll take us up to 84 on upkeep. Ooh! I have no money. Shall we decant the wine? Yeah. 
well, one nice thing is the rating will at least give us experience gain, so that'll help. And then we'll just wait until Are you a god? They likely take over. Despoil and ravage. Maraud is all. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Oh, I can request his tiny little army, but I can't request his main army. Oh, probably because you can't request the armies of the faction leaders, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if they fixed the exploit where if you request an army and you have a hero in that army who has the immortal trait but they get wounded if they end up joining your faction pool. What is this? A specific region belonging to Agol is showing great devotion. Such unholy faith can be wielded to further your own ends. Vassal gains a province development point? Well, I'm interested in seeing what that is. Let them flourish. I have no idea what that goes for. Pick says, well, my fellow man and woman, I gotta go. Gotta get ready for work. Check in here and there. No problem, Pickle. See you later. Ridiculous. For chaos. Well, I could just approach and help the orcs if they attack. The gods direct me. That actually might work, because then I can get the orcs killed. Oh, and then move in the following turn. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Oh, this is interesting. Eye of the Gods. The higher the number of active gifts of chaos you have, the more the Eye of the Gods is drawn to your faction. Once the meter is full, a dilemma will offer you powerful rewards. What do we want to give River Rats right now? Unholy Strike. Big Assassination Chance. Additional 15%. Yeah, we'll go for that. Alright. River Rat will start off as a hero. And then eventually, we'll turn him into a lord. Uh, not entirely sure what faction... What uh, mark he, he will be, but we'll figure that out in time. Uh, let's see. Maybe part of this will be... We'll do this as an indication that we need to turn him into a lord. But that he already exists. Alright. So we're going to go in here. We're going to let the orcs defeat themselves. And then we'll uh, enjoy the fruits of our labor afterwards by attacking the orcs.
Hmm. Well, at this point, I think we can just speed it up a little bit. Let's get us closer to uh, coming in. And then as soon as we're in, we'll use Shatterstone. And let's take down this one. It's open. Attack, little guys. Ooh, I kind of want to do it and <laughs> put these black orcs on top. <laughs> My magic is ready. Arcane torment awaits. It is done. Sabotage the Black Orcs. Oh, they've already gotten past the dark. Well, go ahead, people. Or just stand there and get killed? What's going on? Come on. When all of our forces are ready, we can just come right in. Uh, let's move our guys here, though, out of the way of those towers. Unfortunately, the Black Orcs are just completely going through these uh, elves. Still don't know what they're doing over here, unless they're just continuing to do that until the Doomdiver catapults are finished. That could be. Yeah. Because the Doomdiver catapults uh, are out of ammo, so just moving to attack now. So it's not going to be perfect. Uh, the orcs are still going to be pretty powerful, I think. But as long as they're weakened enough, it doesn't have to be perfect. This makes it seem like we should be able to attack some of these buildings here, but unfortunately no. Unless we're just not in range for it. Can we attack those buildings that are in there if we get closer? I almost want to say yes. Which, if so, is an entirely new little feature here. Well, there's that. 
Yeah, according to this, it looks like we can attack these little buildings that are in here. Uh, that's new, because I don't remember us ever being able to do that. At least not in this game, I should say. I know you could do it back in the previous Total War titles, is attack civilian buildings. At least if I... I'm pretty sure anyways, if I remember correctly. That is neat. Yes, kill the spider. Please kill the spider. Are they like completely falling apart because their lord fled? It's kind of looking that way. Come on, green skins. Do something productive here. Uh, time to put on the Infinity Gauntlet. It's like I'll have to take care of it myself. At least once, once safely, anyways. I don't want to do it just yet. I still want the orcs to take as much damage as possible. There is the option to just retreat, I suppose, though. Eh, we'll do it ourselves. Also, I'm pretty sure it didn't always do this, but it looks like units automatically drop uh, siege equipment now when they run out of ammunition. I'm pretty sure that's something new, because I don't remember that happening before. I mean, it may have been something with Warhammer 3 and just something that I never noticed. But uh, I don't remember that being in Warhammer 2. Ruinous powers rejoice. Chaos sorcerer. I guess the only bad thing with this, with what I've done here, is I've given them a chance to get a whole bunch of uh, defensive buildings built now. With a skull through. I bring a tempest. Faction on them, Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Chariot. All right, we got that. Let's continue on. Uh, next point we should probably try and grab is this one. Here and here. Begin the reaping! Warriors of Slavish! Chaos Sorcerer!
Slay every mortal. Torn's bloody glory. Move, charge. Spoil. Chaos is magic. Chaos chariot. And victory. Very nice. All right. And the battle. We'll see what uh, the orcs do. They may not take it. They may actually just go for uh, sacking it. We'll see. But if they do take it, then I'll just take the orcs. It works. All right, kill, enslave, or sacrifice. Well, sacrifice. Get us more souls. Souls for the soul throne, or however we want to say it. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. In time. Hey, Forkin's... Foreskin Consumer has a path to glory, although, like, gave us, like, a whole bunch of paths to glory. We got Boons of Chaos. End your turn in a friendly region with less than 50 control. Successfully use a hero action with this character. And win a battle against Siege. Fires of Change. Range. Oh, while well, casting 11 damage resist. That's kind of neat. Let's see, we've got Unmoving Mage, Spell Slinger, or Warrior Wizard. Uh, probably Spell Slinger. But we automatically get cooldown anyways by doing more on this, so we'll, we'll focus on that. The gods. Despoilers come. Supple and Spry, Missile Resist. Uh, tempting. Uh, you know what, let's go for it. Oh, wait a second. Favored Sun. Enables soporific musk attacks for aspiring champions and chosen of Slanesh. As well as for Sigwald himself. So that makes him even better for uh, hunting down units. Not bad at all. Witness my beauty. I will acquiesce. Alright, so they've already kind of weakened themselves as it was. We can win this with an auto resolve, so we're gonna do it. And occupy. All right, so we repair this. Now, we do need more money. So, favor generated, yeah, we'll do some raid trophies. And then, probably also, should do uh, the growth. Now, this is kind of interesting. With defense, the improved towers have, uh, well, javelins, which are disappointing. But then you get raw energy and then greater raw energy. So, that's kind of... We got a decent amount of Marauders available here now. Uh, I'm going to go back over here and change from this to uh, Corruption Focus. Now. And 
and let's move yes, River at over here. Handsome and, and we can do two more Marauders. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, should I do one group of Poison Warhounds as well? Let's do that as well. There are the Marauder Horsemen, but I don't necessarily need that. Alright. Sigvald, let's go for her to hit next. I am Slanesh's Scion. Oh, actually, I should do more scouting. Excellent. Next, we got more research. So we got chariots, um, slaves to darkness. Request to army cost reduction. Um, allied recruitment costs. Oh, that's for a uh, gift. Okay. Souls gains from gained from battle and expendable for Marauder and Marauder Horseman units. Oh, that's a gift though. Excellent. And we got our path to glory available. Uh, we'll wait a turn. I want to get a little bit more glory before I go for that. I mean, with my upkeep, I can still go 10 turns if I somehow don't get any uh, upkeep or I get any uh, eyes, souls, but... I forbid you to look up Alkia, what do you want? Oh, you're declaring war. Okay. Our first threats. And definitely a threat she is. Silence, worm. Who are these grotesque Moving. A beautiful decision. The gods direct me. My adoring. That's why I forget. If you're in your own territory, you don't benefit anymore from being in camp stance. Let us go. I forgot. Uh, you're just gonna leave here for the moment. Okay, off. And what path to glory do you have? Five battles, lose a battle and survive, and uh, the corruptor. We could devote him to corn or Nurgle. Ready. I imagine Valkyrie is probably going to take the Shard Bash in there. You have a proposal, yes? Uh, Sin Dancer wants non aggression. I can take that. Oh, nope, she just outright destroyed it. Flooding, Monsleeb's Monsleeb's orbit strains and the lands flood, causing watery devastation in its wake. For chaos. Oh, seductive influence does apply to beastmen as well. Okay, interesting. Excellent. For the gods of chaos. We can search ruins, but I don't think they brought back the one mechanic. Those that serve your cause gain experience. No, but we did get experience. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. Shh, old man. Shh. I will for your gifts. Old man, I don't need your shit. One of your followers has gained experience, and their skills. Oh my goodness. 
Get me out. Get me out of the tutorial. I don't need the tutorial. Uh, so let's do student. Oh, it's already assigned someone. Disregard that. All right, Fortress of the Damned can go up to the next level. Let's go ahead and do it. Get another 200 gold a turn. Uh, so we have the trade and then the Vassal Tribute as well, but neither of those are really large. But then again, our what we're bringing in really isn't a whole lot either. Why are we not bringing in much money here? Minus 49%. Oh, because of the flooding, that's why. Valkia, you coward. Set this up again. Avert your eyes. Move. I'll slaughter in your name. I will decapitate you. Slaughter the shit. Oh, I see why this looks fancier, I think, possibly. Maybe it's because it has to do with being a uh, fortress, dark fortress. Because, yeah, the Palace of Ruin also has a flashy little signal there. So I think that's why. The... At least that's what I'm guessing, anyways. So we probably should go into channeling stands. You have a proposal, yes. Go in Hellebron declaring war. Oh jeez. Everything's going to hell. Valkia completely ran home. <laughs> She's a little afraid. Challenge. See if I can assassinate that hero though. Failure. Oh, for shame. All right, right of ascension. Share your tears. Slaves of darkness. Erection of ruinous monuments. Unlock hero recruitment and post-battle loot bonus effects for altar improvement buildings. I don't even know what the altar improvement buildings are. Also, you can do some really neat uh, bonuses for aspiring champions. I almost want to try to go for it. An aspiring champions build. Wait, wait. Maybe I understand what an altar is. Let's see. Um. Or maybe not. No, I'm not seeing any altars here. I don't know. Unless the altars are part of the uh, lesser settlements, then maybe.
Yeah, that might be what it is, because it mentions post-battle loot bonus effects, and that, I know, is something that is applied to the Wood Elves for kind of their uh, outposts. So, yeah, we could probably go for, well... Yeah, do the erection of Ruinous Monuments. Trying to decide what I want. So many options. Can't can't decide. You dare. I have to be careful taking on Valkia. Because In a direct battle, it's going to be a little difficult, I think. Don't. The skies beyond the horizon darken, my lord. A black arc approaches. The dark hills you... Silver Tower of Sorcerers. Art of Corn. Hmm. Shall we decant the wine? A beautiful decision. Trying to see if there's any better ambush locations around here. It's not looking like it, though. That's probably what we'll do. We'll fall back over here. Let them approach. My adoring hordes. What an ambush stance. Let's try to assassinate this guy. Cease. Still failure. Cease. What? Ah, the slaughter begins. What is this foolishness? Oh dear. Dark elves approach. The poor. Frozen city. Oh. Valkia approaches. We haven't been found yet. your eyes, Groot. Alright, Spartacus wants a peace treaty. I will accept it. Ambush foiled, son. Ah, the slaughter begins. Who are these grotesque ringers? Uh, alright. Um... I'll try going into ambush stance again. Send River Rat to join us here. The most important thing is that Valkia falls into our trap. If she does, we'll be in a good spot here. Actually, I'm not thinking about it. Maybe the path, path to glory doesn't take you down. I know becoming a demon prince, you lose half your levels. Um, maybe the path to glory doesn't? It doesn't exactly say. Oh, wait. Here we go. Um, 
So transform characters will be half the rank of their previous form and all skills will reset to be chosen again. Any active boons of chaos are lost upon transformation. Aww. Uh, the cost will decrease the higher the character's level. Okay. Come on, Valkia, fall into my trap. We don't need a successful ambush, we just need you to attack. My true father instructs me. Military access, sure. Oh, Malice is up here now? Oh, jeez. I'm hoping that our ambush remains intact here. It does. Good. Any luck, Valkyrie will um, attack next turn. We'll be able to hit her with all our forces. Silence, that will guarantee victory. And then we can move and take her uh, Palace of Ruin. Frozen City, I'm going to start to upgrade you, and then when we do get you upgraded, yeah, we're definitely going to want to do more uh, defenses there. Max level Dark Fortress, let's see. Oh, we don't really get that many units, because we got 4, 7, 9, 11, so only 12 units? That's less than what we have. Oh! We have the extra garrison because of the uh, outpost, that's why. I was like, we have less units at level 5 than we do at level 3? What? But no, it's the garrison. Or the uh, uh, outpost, I should say. Skip the path of glory. And let's hope this works. Again, we don't need the ambush itself to be successful. Um, as long as we're able to at least get into a battle with all our reinforcements. Ah, damn it. Why did she flee? Come back, you bitch. <laughs> Settlement besieged. Oh, hell. Well, so much for that upgrade. For chaos. I will decapitate you! There's still an ambush here, though. <gasps> Alright, what is this? Undivided units to receive the Mark of Corn. Frenzy for aspiring champion units. What do we what can we get for oh that's poison? And then let's see. That is Strider for aspiring champions, and then barrier for aspiring champions. Or feast for chaos warhound and feral manticore units rank four and above. Not bad. Maybe I'll go for that. Or do I want to do demonic pack? I mean, it does do more authority for all armies, but I don't necessarily need that right now. So, yeah, we'll go for that. I am Slanish's scion. All right. I hate not being able to do anything here, but I need to keep my ambush intact. I hate having to put a slot towards it, but we're gonna build up our garrison at the Fortress of the Damned. Because there is a good chance that, that could be, be attacked, and we'll need that intact. Come on, Valkyrie, come and attack.
Ambush foiled. Darn it. Shall we decant the wine? Well, do, do I just go and attack hobby? myself? Not gonna be the best. Who are these grotesque rangers? Oh, and I gave up all my potential magic here. Despoil them, ravage. Maraud is all. Bring ruin. Avert your eyes. You wasted my time. I was hoping maybe they'd show that as a victory, unfortunately not. chances here if I had more magic it would maybe Shark be one Prince thing wishes. ready slaughter the sheep hmm I don't Straight suppose I can business. request an army Where here can I bring? nope not the army that I want to request anyways Try I could request their main army that would work Worm. Well, let's save and let's let's try this. I think Sigvald against Valkyrie can win. Um, I will decapitate they got Chaos you. Chaos warriors. They got marauders. They got the skull crushers. Those could hurt. Oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, I am not liking it. Valiant defeats right now. Let's seduce those guys into our army. And let's do this. Oh, we have uh, our Scarecrow banner. We'll put it on, uh, put on Sigvold. Maybe use that against Valkya. Oh, this is just frozen. I didn't know if that was uh, a little late or what exactly. Alright, how are we going to do this? Let's prepare a bit of an ambush over here, potentially. Senesh expects suffering! Warriors of Senesh! With rapture! My magic is ready. Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos, the only master. Agony and ecstasy. Chaos Marauders. Marauders will. Chaos Chariot. Suffering and bound. Da princes, marauders. Born to suffer. Yes. What? Your will! The 
dark gods command me! Alright, let's see what we can do here. Be sure to use the maps available to assist your tactical planning, Commander. Hell Scourge! Hopefully they do come to attack me. That will be beneficial. If I have to attack them, that will be a pain in the butt. Warriors of Sinesh! They're trying something anyways. <gasps> Let's see, the Chaos Warhounds of Horn do have Frenzy. And that's really about it, so that's not too difficult to worry about. Dark Prince's minions. So much sends us. Well, the Skull Crushers are anti-large, and I don't really have too much in the way of large, except for my spawn. So those could be in trouble if they get attacked, but... Overwhelming sensation! A divine sensation! We got some of them. Warriors of Sinesh. Warriors of Sinesh. Desire it. Fire, fire. Oh, 
I almost want to kind of fire on Valkia there. What's her uh, missile resist? 15? Okay, this isn't working. Hold on. Such great satisfaction! Uh, you know what? Let's move us even a little bit closer now. Since I've learned now that, uh, that little gray area is the, uh, potential range for it to hit. Then let's do boom and attack. manually. And it pissed him off a little. Good. Sigvald, you're holding up. Good job. Clean magic. Eat magic, you peasant. Not perfect, but it's a little. Thing. Pain. 
The pact requires it. We hunt! To safety! Warriors of Senesh! Let's send my dogs against those skull crushers. I know they got armor. Pain and despair. Pain is life. But uh, anything to kind of hold them off a little bit there. Sigma, take her down. Chaos Chariot. Rick and Rowan. Sigma! I don't fail. Move it. Mortal fool! My gods call! Oh, well, we got her on the run. Anyone running? Our dogs and uh, illustrators against them. Omar says, even in this game, you're a stormtrooper. Shut up, Omar. <laughs> but yes, even with homing missiles, which are what the uh, hell cannons have, still a stormtrooper. I am divine. Warriors of Senesh. My God's call! Chaos Sorcerer! Retreat! Hell Scourge! Seeking Slanesh's embrace! Serving the Pact! Well, the hero version of River Rat did pretty well in this battle. Hold back! Takers of skulls! Marauders attack! Slay them! Retreat! Feel our speed! And there's the army losses. Hold back! Poor foreskin commander here almost died. Trying to wipe out some of these units as they flee. Uh, I think we 
did a pretty good job. I think we keep uh, knocking him down. There we go. All right. Oh, what did we lose? Uh, actually, I don't think we lost anything. So I think for this battle, we will enslave some captives. So that we can uh, replenish our forces a bit. Gotta give props to the Hell Cannon. It did a good job with its uh, damage. Caspon did well as as well there. And we got the Iron Curse Icon with uh, Missile Resist. Not too bad. Alright, Army Plan, Army Replenishment. Valkia Flees. Witness my beauty. And we got the defeated Valkyrie trait. Plus four melee attack and plus twenty armor piercing. So Sigvald's even more powerful. And we gave Valkyrie the gift of Slanesh. Junkters, hello! Blah for the blah blah. <laughs> now, a beautiful decision. Drunk days, how have you been? Have you uh, ventured into Immortal Empires yet? Oh, you can make Sigvald demonic? That is neat. Like, I knew you could do that for the uh, Champions of Chaos. I didn't know you could do that for Sigvald, though. Give him Fiendish Musk. Reducing melee attack and uh, speed. Drunk just says, hey, newbie, how goes it? I am well. I have not, but I may have to, as this is on Game Pass. Excellent. It is on Game Pass. I'm not entirely sure how, if they've, because I know they've talked about it. I don't know if they've finished it yet, integrating where you could have it on one platform and then have it on another platform. Are you I know there's been talk of it, at least among the community, but I can't remember myself if that's been done or not yet. Alright. Runus Wrath might be useful. But maybe go for more uh, spells. Do that to decrease the cost. What do we have down here? Uh, Drunker says sadly no, so I don't get any access to all the DLC I have. Which is all of it for one and two. Thanks, Epic. Oof. Excellent. Well, in that case, will you even be able to do Immortal Empires then? If you don't have one and two kind of considered, you know, part of your thing. May buy it on Steam one of these days. Well, that's where I've had it. But I've been, you know. I've been following this series from the start, so 10% off right now, which got it back into the top sellers. Interesting. I know um, I bought the Champions of Chaos DLC on Fanatical for 25% off. Um, did that because I wanted to support one of the uh, YouTubers that I follow. He had a reference code, so... But I will say I am liking everything with Chaos so far. Um, they have really given it a nice boost. Uh, between the marked units, between um, you dare. the warband recruitment, which I think the, the concepts for this warband recruitment they're going to eventually use for Dog's War, I think. Because Handsome. It, it's similar to um, if you've ever played Rakarth and his uh, stuff. 
and Warhammer 2, I think that was similar, had a similar concept that depending on what location you're in, um, has a chance of recruiting different units. Well, that's how the Warband is with uh, Chaos now. So like, you know, if you're in a regular, let's see, frozen climates or provinces with high Chaos undivided corruption, you can find like, like regular Marauders. With areas with high uh, corn corruption, you can find Marauders of Corn. So, yeah, lots of lots of neat little things with that. My visions predict failure. My adoring. Let's at least increase our do some channeling there. Uh, and then we're not gonna do. Well, we could do a path to glory now, but I want to heal up first, just in case, God forbid, we lose someone. That would be very, very not good. To spend the souls on a path to glory and they uh, die. Maybe I'll hold off on doing path to glory until they're mortal? Although actually that won't last because they'll just, uh, they kind of revert back. I will decapitate you! The sword of Cain has been claimed. Tribesmen. Oh, hey, my uh, ally is coming to attack these guys. Good. Save no. them. Save them. Fool. Alright, let's return stop. to our land. Our ally's land. The gods direct Try and me. heal up a little bit here. Uh, does camp increase healing? No, it doesn't increase healing in allied lands either. Okay. Uh, do we have anything that helps replenishment around here? Not that I am seen. Is it under the Nurgle stuff? Mm, no. It could be one of the uh, gifts of Nurgle, perhaps. Battle reinforcement. Attribute. Vanguard deployment for all... Uh, units marked of Slanesh. Oh, I was like, so I was wondering, like, can you remove a gift? Uh, once you've taken it on, and I was looking in here to do it, but no, it's actually over on the far right side of the screen. If you need to, uh, build up more shards and all that. Alright, let's see. Uh, well, that's casualty replenishment. And that's for the province. Interesting. Uh, it's unfortunate that upgrading this doesn't improve hero capacity for exalted heroes. So pretty much you need to get more Dark Fortresses for that. Uh, do we more, do more growth here? Well, we've got 19 defenders. We don't necessarily need to do more of that. Oh, and this doesn't actually improve... Uh... Yeah, that's just growth. That's not money either. Uh, I need money. Worm. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait a little. It's unfortunate. I don't like it, but I don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, unless I do just more defense. It does give me more defensive supplies. Or actually. Getting these Ooh, units level up enough to... Screen. Nah. They need to be level 5 to get to become more chaos warriors, so... We'll just wait. Wait and heal up. No! My city! Oh... Let's... Do I fight this or do I just give it up? I'll just give it up. 
Damn you, Harganeth. We're definitely going through the list of uh, factions here, though. We started at, I think it starts around 270. We're down to like 201 now. The goddess forbids it. Despoilers come. Ready. Dominance. Be you mindless or foolhardy? Uh, for chaos. Maybe I should return to my land and build up there. Slaughter the sheep. Shall we decant the wine? Despoil and ravage. Well, actually, theoretically, we should be able to do the longship build there, and that'll replenish our armies more. Avert your eyes. Looking at it now. Maraud is all. You waste my time. We don't have anything. I know this does casualty replenishment, but is that directly in the region? I think it is. Oh, this is kind of neat. So the uh, the anti skaven buildings also act as uh, a way to spread cast corruption in adjacent provinces. We have it. Let's see. What about this? So the sorcery buildings don't do that. Uh, we do get corruption from the uh, large monster building chain, but that's only for our province. Okay, interesting. Yes, I am handsome, but we must forego the usual flattery. A deal needs to be struck. Oh, look at my strength rank. 112. <laughs> uh, trade, sure. Just trading with demons. Don't ask me what we trade, but we trade something. Stuff and things. <laughs> what is this foolishness? Well, I guess it is trade between Slaneshi factions, so that may explain some of what they may trade. Despoil uh, of ravage. I want to take that, but Hellebron is moving around here. Uh, I probably should have went to the south to take on Hellebron. I will merge some of these Bring ruin. and get some of these aspiring champions. Yeah, Drunk Tears, I was considering at one point of doing this back on YouTube. Um, because the Total War community is a lot bigger on YouTube. Uh, but lately I've seen, like, I don't know how many different postings from, you know, pretty pretty standard YouTubers having videos age-restricted for stupid reasons. And it reminded me why, uh, one reason why I just gave up on YouTube to begin with was just, it's a mess right now as far as all of that goes. Why are they having so many... Who are these grotesque readers? The Dark Prince wishes. 
Let us go. Maraud is all. Feels like all the options these days are kind of meh. Yeah, I kind of get that. Um, like Twitch. Years ago, Twitch was the place to be. Then came, oh geez, I don't even remember the name, the Microsoft service. Um, Mixer was Microsoft's. Though, I don't know, personally, I didn't think that Microsoft ever went very far. Certainly not until they uh, bought Ninja. And then that just fell apart as well. Witness my beauty. Oh, geez, they got my visions predict here. failure. Dominance. A beautiful decision. Bring my mirror shield. Oh, this is uh, Drunk says no, not at all. Then they paid so much for so little. Yeah. But, I mean, Microsoft has kind of done that. Like, Microsoft is similar to Google in that way that they have bought a lot of stuff and not all of it necessarily works out. I mean, in fairness, that's pretty much how um, Xbox was. I mean, Xbox initially was such a big investment for you know an already established market that and Xbox you know had never done console stuff and now I personally I consider Xbox to be among uh, possibly the top yeah at least they're willing to try new stuff looking at you Nintendo and Sony yeah I mean Right now, Nintendo and Sony are just stu so stuck in their ways. Right, let's take a look and see what our options look like here. Eric Victory, oh god. That is not good. Hail the slaughterer! And the problem is Hellebron will be able to attack me immediately. Uh, of course, they're all healed up here as well. Good news is I have a whole bunch more uh, seduction available if I want to. Oh, let's fight it. Oh, this is not going to be a fun battle. But yeah, I know Sony has a lot of exclusive titles that are nice, but I don't know. I've just been disappointed with the way Sony's been lately. Because um, last generation I ended up going with Sony because... Oh, my line says so many bolts coming your way. Yes. Sony's been bringing exclusives to PC, which is great, and that seems to have everyone trending that way. I will give that. You know, they're finally starting to do that when they haven't been doing that for eons. Spider-Man looks phenomenal on PC. Yeah, and I've heard that it's actually a pretty decent port. Um, you know, that's always been a question sometimes, is some of the previous ports from, you know, titles that have been focused mostly on consoles to PC have been iffy. But that's thanks to Nixus, who do amazing PC ports. Interesting. Yeah, I will like I would like to see Bloodborne on PC. 
that's one game that I would like to try again, but I just don't really feel all that enthusiastic about it on my PS4. Also because, you know, I have an original PS4, so it's, it's a little old. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Guided by hunger. Whips! Chaos Sorcerer! Wreck and Ruin! Soul Riders! Whips! Seeking Slanesh's embrace. Over there. Run away! Run away! Get out of there, guys! Taking that. Move to the next. Whips! Hell scourges! Begin the reaping! What? Kill, maim, burn! The pangs of suffering, it pleases Slanesh. Get out of here! Uh, those sieges look much better than twos. They are pretty good. Um, a lot more, a lot more that goes into it, that's for sure. Glorious brutality. Sometimes they're a pain in the ass, I'll definitely say that. Die, tremble, mortals! Slaughter! Hell scourge! To the next victory! Let's move to that way. that real quick here. Gas Lord! Marauders of Sludash! Arcane torment awaits! Attend me! Deliver slaughter! We have 
Grab that back. Seeking Slanesh's embrace. I bring a tempest. by pain. Since you guys are going that way, go and take that. So let's see, we got two towers tied to that, so taking that down will help. Uh, we'll take down... no, it's not going to take down that. But we can move on it next. I will also say that the sieges have been improved versus where they were. Because um, when they first came out, like, you could fight against some of the towers, but the towers would, would like, respawn, like, almost instantly. At least with the AI. And that ended up being such a hassle. Uh, but they did fix that. Um, overall, the game performance seems to have improved as well. I have to try this on my old PC, though. Good gauge on how that is. Because that's where I had some real kind of bad performance on the campaign map, so that'll be the place to determine how well the performance is. All right, we didn't lose anyone. That is very good. Let's got 800 souls. Not bad either. Uh, I could gift it to a vassal, which will do some replenishment. Drunkter says, thankfully, skill is not needed on the campaign map. <laughs> I'm tempted to just for the replenishment. So you know what? Let's do it. Who are these 
these grotesqueries. The spoilers come. And let's do more channeling. Ready. Skill or reliant on FPS. That is true. Yes. You don't really need it, but still. It's uh it can be disappointing when you don't have good frames per second. Let's do smoke and mirrors. Good. And then for river rats. Yeah, strategists. More additional training stuff. Oh! Casualty replenishment rate for Heroes Army. Yes. Yes, please. Drunkter says, nothing is going on. I'm just staring at a nice looking map. Where's my FPS? My the biggest problem is because there's just so many effects that's when you're looking at the effects and they're just kind of choppy that's when it doesn't look as nice anymore <laughs> we got ruinous unity ruinous leadership or ruinous wrath i think i'd probably go for unity get that extra undivided authority okay off are you a god Will fail. No. Maraud is all. Slaughter the sheep. Enter them. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Oh, well, that's not bad. If I wanted to trade a settlement, uh, it's only fourteen twenty-three. Trade with my vassal for one. That is not bad at all. Tribesmen, gather. Came take you. Handsome and lethal. Uh, so Chaos Warriors are up to level four. None of my Marauders are up to a proper level yet, though. A worthy choice. I think that might be good enough to go for the Path of Glory, though. 1920, and I have like 30, 39, right? 3,900. So yeah, let's go for the Path to Glory. Uh, devote to Sun Slanesh, the Lore of Shadows. My sorcerer is no no. Oh, uh, he does change his name though. Poor Shane. All right, back to Orskin Consumer. Still has the student ancillary. Um, Beast Tamer can only be done on lords. Let's do that. Bring ruin. It's only for warhounds, but it's still something, so I'll take it. For chaos. All right, we'll do the scouting because we need those magic items. Mouthoth and Penumbral Pendulum. Eventually we get a Chaos War Shrine. That'll be neat. I forgot that they get Chaos War Shrines. Now is that only for... Theoretically that may only be for casters. So that's kind of disappointing that we won't get one for uh, a Nurgle War Shrine. Oh, your recruit rank. I should I should have done that earlier. Oh well. Five turns for growth. Uh, or do I want to do that? Let's go for growth. Because once I'm maxed out with growth and I get the fortress up to the max level, um, 
then I can just convert or get rid of the growth building and go for the favor building. And that'll be a thousand. That'll that'll be really beneficial. Avert your eyes. All right, end the turn. Continue our healing that we're working on. Pyrrhic victory. Oh, Hellebron's attacking here. Well, I guess we're going to use some of that money we have. Convert a few of their uh, dark shards to our side. And let's get us another another trait. as part of this. I think everyone Slayer else will make into the standard Chaos army. Top. We'll put our missile units to the front. Because again, always sacrifice them. Can we hide all of these in there? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, and their reinforcements aren't going to show up yet, so we can actually go and win this real quick here. If we can strike them quickly enough. Did they do that stupid blow up thing? I think they do have that. Son of a. That almost killed my poor. My poor Hellstraders. Alright, Hellstraders, let's bring you out of the battle. I don't want to lose you. You guys are doing pretty good. Attacker! Attacker with the hounds! Spoiled. And hounds run, run away. For the chaos gods. Them. 
Alright, you guys can focus on Hellbrand on there. Charge them! Quickly! Ravage them! Mortals, blood. Now is our time. Depravity is all. Die, we Begin the reaping. All will be despoiled. What the masters bid. Come on, break them, break them. Warriors of Slanish. All will Ooh, suffer. This group of warriors is Seek not doing punishment. well at all. The dark gods command me. Destroy them! On the march! Of sensation. Chaos comes. Is that all? Back, fall back. I am divine. Come on, Sigvald. You can do this. Retreating. Retreating. The fortune. Give us carnage. End them. Another victory for Sigma. Attack the mortals! Alright, it was a bit rough there, but uh, we survived. Uh, I think 
think all our units survived there. A couple of our warriors came really close, though. A lot closer than I would have, uh, than I'd prefer. Oh yeah, down to nine units there. Oof. All right. Um, I think this one we're definitely gonna have to enslave captives for. No, we want more souls, but replenishment is very important. Do not test me, repellent fool. This handsome face. Oh great! Another war. Another war. Just as we try to make some progress. What's going on over here? Oh, another quest. Ooh, this one I do want to get. But we gotta get Sigvald more powerful. Though, personally, he's more powerful. Decisive victory. And we got a Dawnstone. For nice. chaos. My adoring hordes agree. Just have Sigvald one man the whole. <laughs> Just one man everything there. <laughs> to go for the next path of glory miracle or corn that is the question or I could leave them undivided for the time being maybe I'll leave them undivided my prayers are answered Research now. Ooh, war machines. Wards save fifteen percent for chaos war shrine units. I could get a Nurgle War Shrine, that would be beneficial, because I think that has healing on it. So yeah, let's start the path towards getting that. Excellent. We have regular Chaos Warriors we can recruit. Uh, is that what we want to do? That might be what we want to do. Witness my beauty. What? Or some Forsaken. Where did the Forsaken come from? Uh, High Chaos Undivided Corruption. And the Chaos Warriors come from well developed dark fortresses. Ah! 
Are you a god? And good news, we'll be next turn, we'll be Dominance. at our max uh, Winds of Magic. Then we can plan from there. But yeah, I think as far as research goes, I'll focus on the Nurgle stuff. I know Nurgle kind of goes against, well... Yeah, Nurgle goes against Lanesh. Corrin kind of goes against Lanesh. But, uh... Oh, wait, no. Nurgle and Zinch, I think, are the ones that go against each other now that I'm thinking about it. And it's Lanesh and Corrin. Right, hold on, let me see. Handsome. Oh, they're gonna reinforce us. Destroy! Well, theoretically, we can just auto resolve this one. Yeah, decisive. Take back my little fortress here. The Druki don't play nice. Sorry, allies, you don't get this uh, gifted to you. All right, do the favor and do the growth. Ready. Bring ruin. And we got Sigvald with deadly onslaught now. Now what do I do? I mean, there's still more of these things I could do. Probably go for egomaniacal next. At least Sigvald doesn't have the one thing. I want to say egomaniacal before cause Sigvald to increase upkeep on. Um, lords and like other basic generic lords by like 50 percent that kind of sucked fortunately we don't have that anymore witness my beauty Ooh, hello a lesser doom bolts beautiful destruction then there's the slanesh soul feeder healing um, or luring energy. Well, I think Pickle would want beautiful destruction, so we'll go for that. I think I'll do one more turn and we'll end it for today. Or at least for now. Maybe I'll stream later today? I'm not entirely sure. Um, or I may just uh, stream tomorrow. I know I do want to try to be more active as far as the days that I stream. Instead of trying to do super long streams. Do it more actively. Uh, not entirely sure when I'll do it tomorrow. It's not going to be this early. I can definitely say that. Because... It was only this early because, you know, Immortal Empires just came out, so I had to go for it right away. Right, let's I move in for Dargoth there. The spoilers come. At least it seems like even though we went to war with this other corn faction that they're staying off over there for the time. My road is on. One other thing I'll be interested to uh Junker says glad to have been able to catch you giving it a go. Me too, Drunkters, me too. Yeah, I will say so far I've been enjoying it, so. There's still other things I want to check out just for myself. Check out my Tomb Kings, because, you know, they're my... They're the ones I love the most. And maybe I'll check it out on my uh, other PC as well. Obviously not stream it on there because I don't have 
set up on there anymore because that's in the living room. So, I am but it would give me a chance to see how the performance is, which is the big question. Because once I get everything figured out, I do want to look and see. Um, I should probably sack this, even though it's not a lot of money. Can I sack and then gift it? No. I can. Okay. Avert your eyes. Um. But yeah, I, I do want to kind of revisit my uh, Steam review that I left because I did leave a really bad Steam review of this back in April, I think. Back before they did some of the updates that have kind of improved the game quite a bit, so. I felt kind of bad doing it, but at the same time, it was kind of I am needed style. because, you know, it just... The sad thing is, Warhammer 3 came out really in a bad state. We can construct the outpost at the Twisted Tower. Oh, with uh, these guys over here. Uh, sure. Triple A releases these days, I tell ya. Yeah. Oh my god, I was just about to mention that, yeah. I s everything that I've been seeing as far as that goes is just so very bad. Like, it doesn't even look like on just the basic level of being a city of, like, or, or like, not exactly a city, but, like, a simulation sort of thing. It's just, it looked so empty in a lot of it. Which, I mean, even Cyberpunk didn't have that. Cyberpunk had issues, but at least it still looked like it had people in it and all that. But, yeah, it just... Porky ass physics. I saw that. Um... The graphics are pitiful. I mean, that's another thing with Cyberpunk. I mean, yeah, it didn't run well, but at least it had some decent uh, graphics going there as far as everything goes. Your actions have drawn the attention of the Chaos Gods. Though they are fickle, you can perhaps direct their attention to a particular area. However, there is always a price to be paid. Um, ooh, that growth is nice. Rip Generation on all armies is also nice, but I think I want to do the hero capacity. That's the long-term, you know, goal sort of stuff. Alright, let's go grab this. Sack it. I am Slanish's sire. Now, it said another path to glory? Oh no. I don't know why I said Path of Glory there. Witness my beauty. Okay, and the next turn we can take that for the ally. Um But yeah, I'm just kind of like Slanesh corruption. Yeah, let's spread Slanesh corruption. Um Yeah, I, I it just the graphics look bad, the game just yeah. I mean, I know it's like, because I know they've gone through their whole restructuring thing, you know, it's an entirely new kind of developer, and they did do some ports of the older games for like better graphics and all that, um, from like, you know, the 360 era to like the Xbox One era, but yeah, it's just, I, I have no idea what was going on in their minds when they did a lot of that stuff, so. Who are these grotesque but yeah, nevertheless, I am happy that I've seen those reviews. Though honestly, the stuff that I saw even beforehand looked bad enough to be like, yeah, no, not for me. Alright, let's take 
this for the ally. If it's a vassal. And another province secured. Northman come. Uh, I guess just do chaos. Despoil, ravage. Corruption. What what happened to the shard bastion? Ah, this bloodthirsty no. guy took it over. And Valkia's heading over with her warhounds. Well, we make progress Ready. and then we lose progress. The eternal struggle. But I think this is probably a good point to end it for today. Um, you know what? Some of these marauders I can actually upgrade now. Oh, they have to become that to become that. Well, what if you do... Let's see. Uh, do we need some great weapons or halberds? Probably I should get some halberds. Would be good. Get some anti-large going in here. We'll do a couple of those. And then these ones. Okay, and you... This is actually kind of neat. You can do a cross uh, upgrade. So, like, say you do halberds and you uh, decide, oh, that probably wasn't what I should have done. You can go back to regular chaos warriors or great weapons. I mean, it's a little cost, but it's not that much. So that's actually not bad. Either. All right, these guys I'll put into regular chaos warriors. Handsome and lethal. And then if I wanted to mark them, I just go over here and do that. Okay. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, I think this is a good point to end for today. Uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Again, not entirely sure what time. I may go for earlier than the 9 uh, p.m. streams that I've been doing. If only just because a lot of the people that I've been watching on Twitch usually stream around 9 p.m. So maybe around 5? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't already, be sure to follow. Um, I will try to be uploading these to YouTube as well and try and do some editing. But I have no idea what the time span is going to be for that, so we'll see. Um, Thursday is going to be exciting, though, because we're going to be doing some multiplayer in uh, Abortal Empires. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Um, let's see if there's anyone to raid. Although I don't think anyone that I know is on right now. No. It's alright. Alright, folks. Have a good night. Or day, I guess. It's usually night when I end this, so I'm a little confused.